let's get Papercut NG and MF syncing against Azure Standard Sync. First, we'll head on over to the options and select our User and Group Sync tab. You'll just pick Azure from this list. Next up, we're gonna move on over to our Azure interface. We'll click App Registrations. Uh, you can search for this if it's not in your quick access menu here. And we're gonna create a new registration. Go ahead and give it a name for whatever you would like. Uh, I'll call mine User Sync, Papercut User Sync. Uh, accounts in this organization only is going to be the setting that we want here. So from here, we'll collect our tenant ID and paste that in here. Move on back to Azure and grab our client ID. And from here, we're going to get uh, some permissions set up as well as our client secret. So we'll add permissions, click Microsoft Graph and then delegated permissions. Here we'll wanna click profile and then we can move on to application permissions. I'll just search for the ones that we need here. Uh, you can expand all if you need. Let's just make sure that we can find all of the users and groups, memberships, and details about the users uh, that we need in order to work. All right, that's all set up. Now we just grant admin consent for our organization here, as some of these will require it in order to work. We'll give the approval and you can see a nice green check mark next to all of these. Here we're gonna set up an authentication platform. So we'll just click add a platform and enter the redirect URI for our Papercut server. This doesn't have to be a publicly accessible URL, uh, but it does need to be able to resolve to the Papercut server on your network. After that, we're just gonna click ID token and hit configure. Now we'll just move on over to the certificates and secrets section on the left here. We'll click new client secret. Give it a nice descriptive name like paper cut client secret. Uh, I'm just going to use 24 months, but you should do this in compliance with your, your security administrator's recommendations. So we'll just copy this value over, move back into paper cut and populate that here. Now, if I do want to select groups, you'll notice that this may say no groups available. Just hit apply, select your groups after that, and then you can sync them in no problem. I want all my users, so I'm just gonna switch back over to that. Hit sync now and we're done.